I gotta tell you something really embarrassing. I got caught crying in the bathroom at work again. It's like every year I watch these commencement speeches and I feel so inspired and so fulfilled. I would tell my 21 year old self that personal happiness lies in knowing that life is not a checklist of acquisition or achievement. Be a doer, not a dreamer. Failure is just life trying to move us in another direction. But then reality sets in and I'm in the third stall of the bathroom bawling my eyes out and praying nobody hears me. And that assumes I can even make it to the bathroom in time. Look, I would take advice from JK, Oprah, and Shonda any day of the week. But why did nobody teach us how to mentally prepare for work? Where was the class on office politics and why didn't I take it? In order to get some perspective, I talked to White House Communications Director Jennifer Palmieri. I was the White House Communications Director for President Obama in his second term, and I was Hillary's Communications Director on the 2016 presidential campaign. I am very easily moved to tears, like it's very possible I may cry in this very interview. Just like, just when something is important to me, I'm going to tear up. It's happened in the Oval Office, you know, it's happened at times in a meeting with Barack Obama. And so it really frustrates me when I hear people say that to tear up at work is not professional. Tearing up, like I have a full blown mental breakdown every day at work. I don't know any women who it doesn't happen to. You'll hear things, well, you know, it's just not professional. It's like, I know what that word means. That word means it's not what men do. If you're moved to tears, but then say, I care so much about this, it's actually moving me to tears. We spent centuries hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years making politics and the workplace a good place for men. Yes, the modern workplace was literally designed for men. It was created after World War II and it was designed in the male-oriented, hierarchical image of the military. And it hasn't changed very much since. For example, standard office thermostats are set to temperatures best suited for the resting metabolic rate of a 40-year-old man who weighs 154 pounds. I think that we have to bring our whole selves to the office. So I feel like if we're bringing all of our emotions and our passions and not muting them, that's better. This idea that we should be our full selves at work literally flies in the face of everything I know to be true. Work is supposed to be the place where you go to suppress your true self just to get through the day. But Claire Shipman actually talks a lot about this, and she says that the qualities that women bring to the table at work, like passion, are actually really good and they shouldn't be suppressed. Generally speaking, women tend to be better at negotiating, more conciliatory, we're less hierarchical. Study after study shows the more women you have at the top of a company, the more money you make. Mm -hmm. Because we're bringing a different sort of management skill. It's not a madman style confidence. We really can't risk giving up what makes us unique. Mm -hmm. It's not easy because we haven't learned it at an early age. Because from an early age, girls are just better at sitting still, being quiet, coloring within the lines, getting everything right. And they start to internalize that as a reason why they're valuable. Mm -hmm. So we create this perfectionism by middle school and high school. And if you are a perfectionist, what do you not want to do? Fail or take risks. They're just like excelling beyond belief academically, but they're not learning the skills they need in the real world. Because the rules change. It's all about promoting yourself, mm -hmm. taking chances, speaking up. Okay, nobody tells us that. It's not easy because we haven't learned it at an early age. That's why entering the working world feels like such a bait and switch. So what would you say are the things that we have to teach young women today about being successful? I think young women really need to learn to take risks. They need to learn to get comfortable with failure and get through it. And also that perfectionism is a pitfall. They really have to jettison perfectionism because nobody's perfect and it will keep you from building confidence. Talking to Claire and Jennifer gave me a whole new perspective. I actually had a game plan. And then I found an intern crying in the bathroom stall. I had to pass these insights on to the next generation of working women. Okay, ladies, you are about to enter the workforce. Under your chairs is a working woman starter pack. And in it, you will find 
a wine glass big enough to hold a full bottle of wine because you are not gonna wanna get out of bed for refills after the day you've had. The second thing is a block of cheese because cheese isn't just for guests anymore, it's your dinner. And the third thing is a monthly planner. You don't need a weekly anymore because you have no plans. All right, now for some real talk. Repeat after me. It's okay to cry at work. It's okay, it's okay to, to cry at work. Take risks. Take risks. It is okay to fail. Perfection is our pitfall. Say it again. It's okay to cry at work. You got this! I'm crying because I'm so passionate about this project. Perfection is our pitfall! Perfection is our pitfall! Yes, get it girls, I am so proud of you ladies! It's okay, okay to cry at work. You, you have, have to take risks. It's okay, okay to, to fail. Perfection is a pitfall. You got that last one, you got it. Okay, perfection is a pitfall. You got it.